Pranav Pandya is renowned as a pioneer of scientific spirituality. As the head of Gayatri Parivar, he disseminated the message of Indian culture across the globe and established branches of Gayatri Parivar in over 80 countries. A gold medalist in medicine, MD, Dr. Pandya qualified for US medical services in 1976. But upon the insistence of his guru, Pandit Sriram Sharmaji, he gave up the lucrative offer and stayed in India. Dr. Pandya joined the Yug Nirman mission at Shanti Kunj as the director of Brahma Vacharas Research Center, Brahma Vacharas Research Center in 1978 and laid the foundation of pioneer work in bringing science and spirituality together. Under his guidance, path-breaking research was carried out in Ayurveda, psychology, pranayama, and meditation. In continuance of his efforts, he has presented scientific aspect of Indian culture to the Parliament of World Religion. He has addressed joint session of House of Lords and House of Commons in the UK in February 1992. Under his leadership, the Gayatri Parivar Fraternity has blossomed into a worldwide organization with nearly 90 million followers. A hearty welcome to you, Dr. Pranav Pandya. May I request Swami Shantatmananda ji to present Dr. Pranav Pandya with a shawl and a memento. May I request Sri Kailash Agarwalji, Sri Upendranath Ji Singh, and Sri M. Krishnan of Gayatri Parivar Coimbatore to please come onto the stage and honor Puja Sri Swamiji. May now invite India to felicitate Puja Sri Swamiji. Om Akhand Mandala Karam Vyaptam Yena Characharam Tadpadam Darshitam Yena Tasmai Sri Guru Venama Matravat Lal Yetricha Pitruvat Marga Darshika Namos to Guru Satayai Shraddha Pragya Yutachaya Om Prakar Pragyaya Vidmahi Mahakalaya Dhimahi Srimad Sri Ramah Prachodayat Om Sajal Shraddhayai Vidmahi Mahashaktiai Dhimahi Tanno Ma Bhagwati Prachodayat Going to the feet of uh, my Guru, Pandit Sri Ram Sharma Acharji, Paramandani Amataji, who have taken Samadhi, and uh, I represent them right now, today. Param Shadhe, Paramadarniya, just like my father, just like my mentor, just like my sculpture, whatever I have, I am become today, whatever I was a medical doctor, and I, whatever I am today, is because of the teachings of Swami Dayanand Swamiji, respected Swami Dayanand Ji. His uh, Shatabhi Shekam has been done today. He has finished 81 years. He has entered into 82 years. Swamiji doesn't believe in the years and the moments and events of the life, but he has been passing many milestones without any name, fame, anything in, a, in his mind. He's all the time 
involved in teaching spirituality and te that teaching of the spirituality with science, I believe that we need you, Swamiji, for again more 20 years and 30 years till you are here, able to give us the teachings. We have with us very famous personality, your guru, Ramdev Baba. You all know him very well. We have got Vishweshwaranand Tirthiji Maharaj from Sanyas Ashram. We have got Ashok Singhal Ji, Mohan Bhagavad Ji, Ram Madhav Ji, Bal Subramaniam Ji, Krishnamurti Swami Gal Ji, and many other Swamijis. All of you are Swamis of your own soul. So all of you are Swamijis. All the saints, all the disciples of Swamiji who are seated here, and all the elites, citizens of this Coimbatore city, even surrounding all cities, perhaps from all over the world, the disciples of Swamiji have come. I am addressing to all of you, all the journalists and the news channel and the press media people. Today we are passing through the great moments of change. These are the moments in which there is going to be the decision of the destiny of what will happen to the mankind. There was a forecast by Swami Vivekanan that after the birth of my guru, that is 1836, the Satyug will start. But that Satyug will take 175 years as a Sandhikal. And after those 175 years, the Satyug will start appearing. I don't know, Swamiji must have chosen everything through his vision. That 175 years has ended in 2010 and with 2011 has started the Satyug. So it's a wonderful moment for all of us that Swami Vivekanand and then Sri Arvindo. Sri Arvindo Pandicherry, he also said the same thing in his evening talks that this particular 175 years will be full of pain, miseries, and you all have seen 1857, you all have seen the 1947, and earlier than that, the freedom fighter uh, dying for the cause of nation. Everything happened, and all of you have seen that. Then we had the independence of the India, and then with the, we had the black British people, black British people. ICS, IS officers governing us, and a, a dark era after 1947. If any of you are IS or ICS officer, don't take it on your heart. Be very, very congenial with me and try to believe that whatever we have the administration today is not the administration of the independent India. It reminds us of the British Raj, and many times we feel that we are living in a dependent country. Friends, Hindu dharma was in dire state of mind. And that time, a lot of people, a lot of Swamiji's, they did hard labor. One of them was my guru, Pandit Sri Ram Sharma Acharya Ji. Ved Murti Taponisht, he revived the Vedas, he revived the Arsh, Arsh Grantha. Just as I said, Swamiji's Shatabhi Shekam, similarly there is a very sheer coincidence that this year is the birth centenary year of my Guru, Pandit Sri Ram Sharma Acharya, 2011. So these are the indications of the great moments of change. Lot of change things are happening. And when lot of things happen, the Asurta has to die and Devi Sampada has to flourish. This is happening. Asurta has to die. And definitely you will see a lot of struggles, a lot of things happening in the next one or two years. And then there will be upsurge of the Devi Sampada as it is given in the Gita. And I believe that it has started happening from 2011. Today we sat with Swamiji after the Shatabhi Shekam. We have five, six persons, including Ram Madhavji, including Mohan Bhagavad Ji, Ashok Singhal Ji. We all sat together. And we have decided to form a forum. What is to be the destiny of Hindus in this country? We have to take care of them. My organization is all for the strength to the majority. It is known 
because of india is known as bharat is known as for hindus and we people are now being put to lot of test through the minorities and uh, get taking care of everyone we take care of everyone vasudev kutumbakam our the whole family whole world is our family not only we take care of ourselves we take care of whole world this is what is the uh, the indian culture which swami ji was explaining this is what is the our culture our vedic culture vedic sanskriti vishwam pushte grame asmin anaturam let us make this whole world as a very developed ecosystem i believe that this is going to happen in next coming 10 9 10 years are going to be deciding and the world is going to and the india is going to become jagat guru and the whole world is going to be controlled controlled by the <laughs> bharat our bharat there is a struggle between two there is a bharat and there is a india there is a struggle between the two bharat is the one which believes in the vedic values spirituality scientific spirituality tin tak tin bhunj tha ama isha vasu upanishad and the another one believes in rinam kritva ghritam pivet let us take loan mortgage let us take plastic money credit money and then let us enjoy till we die of debt or we die in the jail tihar jail we, we don't know about that <laughs> this is what is happening that people believe that nobody can touch us everybody is being touched now by supreme court by many people now masses will touch them and everybody will teach them a lesson we have to we have to believe on ourselves we have to believe on our inner confidence and you i'm telling you from the core of my heart i'm running a organization known as divine india youth association the youngsters of this country are purely spiritual youngsters of this country they want to join spirituality and they want to work with a spiritual fervor they want to work with the teachings of swami ji they no never consider them that they are going beyond the away from religion they are with spirituality but scientific spirituality what is the scientific spirituality spirituality explained scientifically whatever was be explained today spirituality explained scientifically if it is practiced how change how many changes it brings about in your day to day life how does it transform one's life how does it make you less stressed how does it make you more happy this is what is spirituality scientific spirituality what is scientific spirituality scientific spirituality is the crutches of the science to be taken as a help for the religion for the establishment in which there are lot of wrong traditions lot of unfortunate things happening in last 200 300 years so we need to have the development of the science we, we cannot deny modernity we cannot deny the developments of the science but spirituality has to control science the moments of the orgasmic pleasures are being investigated by the science people they do not have the time to investigate the samadhis or meditation and the pranayam we have to invoke the science in the quest of spirituality this is what is the giving science direction of the spirituality this is scientific spirituality a lot of people are now coming to the fold of this scientific spirituality we have to take care of environment we have to take up greenery we have to take up the take care of the herbs we have to take care of everything in this world my dear friends my dear disciples of the swami ji swami ji has devoted his whole life for the teachings of the spirituality indian spirituality indian culture i have been to his ashram in salisburg and i have been to his ashram in rishikesh he has been very kind to me he has loves me like anything he has just like a son like feeling for me i also have the father like feeling for him and many times i feel that whatever are his dreams i think i may not be able to fulfill them alone but i i give assurance to him on behalf of my whole organization that whatever he has contemplated on behalf of all of us i will try to fulfill a part of it and i will die to that cause because of what he has done in his whole life is something which is very very valuable reason today i am here in coimbatore 
Coimbatore happens to be one of the places where we are going to have Gayatri Chetna Kendra, a Gayatri Consciousness Center. Swamiji spoke in one of his discourses that I am a staunch South South Indian Brahmin. I knew that Gayatri Mantra should not be recited loudly. I was taught by that in the discipline. But Gayatri Parivar people came and Gayatri Parivar people came to Madurai and in the heart of Madurai they did Gayatri Mahayagya, Ashwamed Mahayagya. And from then I started believing there is a power behind them of their guru and it is because of that that they have been able to penetrate the southern south India through Gayatri. Gayatri is powerful, very powerful. If you imbibe the force of Gayatri, Gayatri gives you inner peace, Gayatri gives you strength and if you have that, you will be able to send every evil force from this country out. I tell you, the Gayatri will give you the power to do that. Do recite every day. Do, do japa every day. Do meditation on the sun every day. I think it will give you immense power. I bow to Swamiji. I bow to his knowledge. I, at the age of 82, he remembers everything. He remembers his memory is immense. My medical science says uh, the biggest problem at this age is uh, the Alzheimer's disease. Laheimer, we call it. Alzheimer's disease is degeneration of the brain neurons and then ultimately we say that the old man doesn't remember many things. He remembers. This old man remembers everything. He's a young man. He, re he remembers everything. He remembers about when I met him first, how, how many students are studying in my university. He remembers everything. So he denies the scientific world. Nothing is going to happen if you are spiritual. If you, if you believe in spirituality, nothing is going to happen to your brain, nothing is going to happen to your I, I pray to Swamiji, you be with us for coming 20 years. We need you. We need you badly. We need you badly. I invite you, all of you, to my centenary function, which is from 6th to 10th November. All the dignitaries seated on the dais, I have invited them. I am again inv sending invitation. 6th to 10th November will be in the heart of the Ganges. There will be Mahakumbh in which more than 2 to 3 million people at a time assembling to uh, faith and their um, adora ad adorable faith towards our Guru, Pandit Sri Ramachar Mahacharji, who was born in 1911, 2011 is birth anniversary. We are going to celebrate the, it for three years till Swami Vivekananda's 150th anniversary. Next three years are going to be very, very tough for everybody. We will pass it. We will pass through it very nicely. We have with us Swami Ramdevji, who passed through a very critical period. But we want to assure him, we are with you, we were with you, and we will always be with you. He has to agree that man alone cannot go. We all have to go together. We all have to. Dhyo yo naha prachodayat. Naha means ours. All of us have to go, go together. Agne naya supathara ye. Let Agni give us direction. Us, not me. So we all have to go together. That's why we have taken Ramdevji in our fold and we'll take care of everything in the culture. He has got immense power. He has got immense vocal power and he has got knowledge. So we all will work together. I assure everybody present on the dais. I happen to be from Haridwar. He happens to be from Haridwar. I take care of the Haridwar Rishikesh side and the Himalayas and he takes care of the political side. He takes care of the <laughs> northern side of the Haridwar. He, someone has to. Someone has to. We people can be away from politics but he has to take care of that. But we will work together. We all will work together. We will definitely make our India Jagat Guru. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Pranav Pandya ji. We are honored to have with us this evening Sri Swami Nirmala Nandanath ji of Adi Chinchanagiri Samsthan, Karnataka. Thank you, Dr. Pranav Pandya ji. We are honored to have with us this evening 
Shri Swami Nirmala Nandanath Ji of Adi Chunchanagiri Samsthan, Karnataka. Shri Swami Paramatma Nanda Saraswati Ji to Garland Shri Swami Nirmala Nandanath Ji and present him with a memento. Thank you, Swamiji. May I request Sri Swami Nirmala Nandanath Ji to say a few words? Satsata. Ananta Samsara Samudratara Naukayita Abhyam Guru Bhakti Tidabhyam Vairagya Samraja da Pujana Abhyam Namo Namakshri Guru Paduka Abhyam Namo Namakshri Guru Paduka Abhyam At the outset I salute at the lotus feet of my Puja Guru, Padma Bhushana Jagat Guru, Dr. Sri 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 Bal Gangadhanath Mahaswamiji, and my divine salutations to Puja Swami Dayananji Maharaj, and all the saints who are on August Dayas, nation dignitaries who are present here. Saints of all the, all the saints of Arsha Mahavidyalai, disciples of our land. Jagadguru Sri 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 Bal Gangayanad Maha Swamiji. Swamiji was supposed to be here to grace the occasion because of his ill health. He couldn't make it. It is a happy and rejoicing moment for of us as we are celebrating Shatabhishekam of one of the greatest traditional saint of modern India in general and society as a whole. Reaching the age of 80 itself by default gives the state of Acharyahood according to our tradition. One who leads the spirituality life of spirituality following the mindful, wholesome tradition. But the person who is realized and enlightened and reach 80 years means such a soul is doubly venerated by one and all. Puja Swami Dayananji Maharaj is such a unique personality. Puja Swamiji sacrificed his life's comforts for rejuvenating and imbibing the ancient eternal values in the minds of the people of our country. Puja Swami to propagate the Dharma and also inspired all the all to involve in socio, spiritual, economical, education, healthcare activities of the society. My Guru Puja Jagadguru Sri Balangaran Mahaswamiji and Puja Dayananji Maharaj both are unique in their own way. Both are absolutely evolved souls and still their hearts throbbing for the people who are suffering in the society. Two decades of their close association, according to me, brought innovative ideas and thoughts for the reformation of society and upliftment of downtrodden and ignored mass in the society. I being quite junior to both both the best way I can illustrate their personalities except beseeching their blessings, which I prefer to read out on this through this August Dayas. Mahaswamiji, Guruji was supposed to come here. In fact, he had cut short his visit abroad and he landed in Delhi 
but he had to visit Kashmir and he got held up there. Maybe you are aware of the news reports. And uh, he could not come here, but Guruji has asked me to convey his greetings to Mahaswamiji. And the entire Art of Living family wish Mahaswamiji Ayur Aroge Saukhyam. Let him continue to bless this world with his insights on Vedanta Jai Guruji. Thank you, Shri Sadhyo Jatananda Ji. <laughs> Who is in the limelight for his crusade against corruption in the political system? Shri Baba Ramdev Ji was born in Haryana. He studied Sanskrit and yoga under the tutelage of Acharya Shri Baldev Ji. He earned the Acharya degree equivalent to post-graduation with specialization in Sanskrit, yoga, philosophy, Vedas, and Upanishads. Sri Baba Ramdev Ji has established a yoga institute in Haridwar in the name of the great Maharshi Patanjali. Sri Baba Ramdev Ji has set himself the important task of reforming the political system in India. He has also propagated the Ayurveda system of medicine, which is a discipline of Vedic knowledge. Start. A hearty welcome to you, Sri Baba Ramdev Ji. May I request Sri Swami Paramatmananda Saraswati Ji to garland Sri Baba Ramdev Ji. Thank you, Sri Baba Ramdev Ji. Param Pujya Shadhe Swamiji in Satavi Shekatin in the Mahatana Vilayila Avrudaya Padangalila Koti Koti Namaskara. इससे ज्यादा तमिल नहीं आता <laughs> लेकिन मैं जितना सम्मान हिंदी को देता हूं को देता हूं उतना ही सम्मान तमिल सहित अपनी समस्त भारतीय भाषाओं को देता हूं क्योंकि वो हमारी अपनी हमारे हृदय से निकली हुई है गरिमा में मंच पर उपस्थिति देकर के जिन्होंने इस कार्यक्रम की शोभा बढ़ाई है ऐसे हमारे बड़े भाई डॉक्टर श्री प्रणव पंड्या जी चुनचुनगिरी मठ के पूज्य स्वामी श्रद्धे बाल गंगाधर नाथ स्वामी जी के प्रतिनिधि पूज्य स्वामी निमानंद नाथ जी महाराज महामडेश्वर विशेषानंद जी महाराज और भारतीय धर्म अध्यापक और पोषक उसके मैं क्या शब्द बोलूं महायोद्धा हमारे श्री भागवत जी और अशोक जी उनको भी बहुत बहुत आशीष हैं हमारे श्री चमुकृष्ण शास्त्री जी जिन्होंने पूरे भारतवर्ष में संस्कृत का बहुत प्रचार किया और आर्ष विद्या आर्ष विद्या के सभी रक्षक और पोषक सभी विप्रगण 
क्योंकि मैं भी आर्ष गुरुकुल का पढ़ावा एक विद्यार्थी हूं और उस ऋषि परंपरा आर्ष परंपरा में प्रति पल जीता हूं और उस आर्ष परंपरा के प्रबल रक्षक पोषक जिन्होंने उस ऋषि परंपरा को आर्ष परंपरा को अपनी संपूर्ण ऊर्जा से प्रतिष्ठापित किया है और मुझ सहित आप सब जिनसे बहुत प्यार करते हैं सबसे ज्यादा हम खुद से प्यार करते हैं अपने ऊपर कोई संकट आए तो हम एकदम से आत्मरक्षा के लिए तैयार हो जाते हैं हम अपने से सबसे ज्यादा प्यार करते हैं और अपना रूप जिसमें देखें हम उससे प्यार करते हैं आप सब यहां जितने भी बैठे हैं आप अपना अपना ही सब रूप आप अपने पिता तुल्य गुरु तुल्य पूज्य स्वामी दयानंद जी महाराज में देखते हैं उनको हमारा कोटि कोटि पुनः प्रणाम वो हमारी सबकी आस्था के विश्वास के केंद्र हैं वो हमारे हृदय प्रतिष्ठान में वो किसी राज सिंहासन पर नहीं वो हमारे हृदय आसन पर विराजमान है और भीतर के राज्य से भीतर के साम्राज्य से भीतर के स्वराज्य से भीतर के सिंहासन से हमको जोड़ते हैं गुरु की यही भूमिका है हमारे जीवन में गुरु तत्व का वही स्थान है हमारे जीवन में वही महत्व है जो हमारे शरीर में मस्तिष्क का मस्तिष्क ना हो तो शरीर बेकार है हाथों में बहुत शक्ति है पूरी दुनिया को बदलने की ताकत है हमारे भीतर एक एक व्यक्ति को परमात्मा ने ब्रह्मांड की संपूर्ण शक्तियों से युक्त करके धरती पर जन्म दिया है बिना किसी पक्षपात और भेदभाव के बहुत उन्नत मस्तिष्क है हमारा लेकिन जब वो उन्नत मस्तिष्क तब तक कुछ नहीं करता जब तक कोई जीवन में समर्थ गुरु नहीं मिलता जब तक कोई सदगुरु नहीं मिलता जब तक गुरु सत्ता की हमारी आत्म सत्ता पर हमारे अस्तित्व पर कृपा नहीं होती यहां हम सब सौभाग्यशाली हैं ऐसे समर्थ गुरु एक ऐसे दिव्य गुरु एक ऐसे क्षोत्रिय ब्रह्मनिष्ठ गुरु हम सबको मिले गुरु का कार्य क्या है गुरु का कार्य हमारे जीवन में हमारे चित्त में हमारी चेतना में हमारी वाणी में हमारे व्यवहार में हमारे समग्र जीवन में दिव्यता को स्थापित करना एक है पशुता का जीवन एक है मनुष्यता एक है देवत्व एक है अतिमानवत्व गुरु हमें पशुता से मनुष्यता मनुष्यता से देवत्व और देवत्व से अतिमानवत्व में दीक्षित करते हैं ये गुरु की महिमा है और ये गुरु का ही कार्य है और ये गुरु का ही सामर्थ्य है जो हमें ऐसी उच्चता प्रदान करते हैं शरीर इंद्रियों और मन को जो अनुकूल प्रतीत होता है हो, उसको हम सुख मान बैठते हैं शरीर इंद्रियों और मन को जो प्रतिकूल प्रतीत होता है हो, उसको हम दुख मान बैठते हैं गुरु इन इंद्रिक अनुकूलताओं और प्रतिकूलताओं से बाहर निकाल के समता में लाकर के स्थापित करते हैं और जिसने अपने शरीर इंद्रिय और मन की पराधीनताओं से मुक्ति पाली 
वो जीवन मुक्त है और ऐसा जीवन मुक्त महापुरुष ऐसा आत्म विजेता विश्व विजेता होने का सामर्थ्य अर्जित कर लेता है क्या ये गुरु की थोड़ी कृपा बहुत बड़ी कृपा है हमारा और आपका ये प्रथम और अंतिम जन्म नहीं है यह पूर्व जन्म और पुनर्जन्म की बातें मुझसे पहले भी हुई है यह हमारे जीवन का और हम सब दिव्य आत्माओं का ये जन्म और ये मिलन ये प्रवाह से उस अनंत की ओर बह रहा है और यह हमारा आत्म मिलन भी उस परम से मिलन के लिए है कि हम बहुत्व में एकत्व को और एकत्व में बहुत्व को देख पाए ये इतना बड़ा दर्शन है भारतीय संस्कृति का जिसको वेदों ने कहा उपनिषदों में जिसको गाया स्वामी विवेकानंद महर्षि दयानंद और श्री अरविंद ने उसी को दोहराया वासुदेव सर्वम सर्वम खलु इदम ब्रह्म सोतश प्रोत शिव प्रजा से आज हम सब यहां गुरुदेव के चरणों में उपस्थित हुए हैं उनके दर्शन और मार्गदर्शन से अनुग्रहित हुए हैं मुझे लगता है ये विचार ये संकल्प ये भाव ये दृष्टि हमारे जीवन में स्थिर हो जाएगी कि यहां से प्रस्थान करने के बाद अपने भीतर और बाहर तत्व में शिष्य श्वेत के तो प्रज्ञानम ब्रह्म एम आत्मा ब्रह्म शिवोहम शिवोहम की वैसे भी श्रावण मास है शिव की आराधना चल रही है और वह शिव तत्व इतना भीतर हमारे समाहित हो जाए कि उसी ब्रह्म तत्व को ब्रह्म युद्धम अमृतम पुरस्तात ब्रह्म पश्चात ब्रह्म दक्षिण तत्तरेण अदश्य ऊर्ध्वम च प्रसृतम ब्रह्म इदम विश्वम इदम वरिष्ठम यतो वा इमानि भूतानि जायंते ये न जाता जीवंती यत्यंति अभिसम विशंति तद्विजिज्ञा सत्व तद ब्रह्मे जिससे हम सब हैं जिसमें हम सब हैं जिसके हम सब हैं जिसका इस संपूर्ण ऐश्वर्य है वही ब्रह्म है लोग संतों से गुरुओं से यतियों से तपस्वियों से सिद्धों से प्रश्न करते हैं तुमको क्या हो गया क्या इसलिए तुमने विवाह नहीं किया तुम स्त्री से घृणा करते हो मैंने कहा बिल्कुल नहीं भक्त भगवंत गुरु 